these little guys have been slithering, climbing, and eating their way to a full-scale invasion of Prince George. To find out why, I went straight to the source. Caterpillars, why are you in Prince George? Why are you on this pole? Hmm. Getting no answer, there was only one place left in town I knew I could turn. The University of Northern BC. It's called the Forest Tent Caterpillar and it started emerging um, probably a week or two ago in fairly large numbers. They begin to emerge when the, when the leaves first sort of flush out of the, out of the trees because the, the leaves are their food source on various trees. Eventually they'll turn into little pupae, little cocoons, and then uh, the, the adults will emerge and sometime in July, August you'll see brown adult moths flying around and those last for a few days. Um, they mate and they lay eggs, and then the eggs uh, go through the winter, and uh, we get more next year. With invasion in full effect, resistance is futile against our new insect rulers. And even though they might be literally covering the town, they're not necessarily harmful. Well, if we're thinking about individual trees, most individual trees that are reasonably healthy can survive you know, two or three years of defoliation. Oftentimes, some trees will even grow back new leaves that same year. Um, more than that, and you might start to see mortality. The so-called catapocalypse hasn't impressed too many of the town's non-cocoon-dwelling inhabitants. They're pretty bad this year. They fall out of the trees, they drop on your head, you walk along, you squish them on the ground. They're everywhere, just everywhere. They're disgusting, but they haven't made it to my house yet, so I'm actually kind of happy about that. Well, in some neighborhoods they've taken all the leaves away. It seems to be patchy, but they're, they're, they're getting worse every year, it seems to be. With at least a few more weeks left, there's not much to do other than get out and observe. And also try to make sure there's none in your hair or on your back. Take the opportunity to take a look at it and, and learn about nature around you because it's, it's, uh, it's showing itself off in a pretty dramatic way right now. For GoPro and Storage, I'm Kevin Neal.